the International Monetary Fund, the IMF, earlier this week said that the global economy will be stronger than it previously had forecast. Here to give us his outlook on where we stand is John Lipsky, First Deputy Managing Director of the IMF. Thank you so much for joining us on this snowy, <laughs> wintry afternoon here happy, in Davos. Happy to be here. Happy to be here. So, so tell us where we stand in this global recovery. Well, we've just, uh, as you just mentioned, we've just updated our global forecast. We've increased our expectation for global growth this year to just under 4%. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, this shows a significant difference still between growth rates in the advanced economies and the stronger emerging market economies. And it doesn't mean we're out of the woods. And perhaps most unfortunately, it doesn't mean that growth in the advanced economies is yet fast enough to start bringing down unemployment rates, which remains a worry. And, and the growth in those developed economies, you know, critics would, would look at that uh, optimism and say maybe there's there's some false rebound there because of the, the government stimulus program still being in there, because of sort of state aid and helping to boost industry. I mean, to what degree do, do you think that is, is factoring into your... Right. Forecast. I, I certainly wouldn't want to call it a false uh, recovery. Mm -hmm. This was the plan. Uh, last year, the G20 economies agreed to provide about 2% of GDP discretionary stimulus. They did that. They had promised in 2010 to be providing between 1.5% and 2% additional stimulus. That's on the boards. And our forecast, in fact, assumes that that stimulus is going to be delivered. Now the challenge, as you rightly point out, is to transfer the leadership of demand growth from public support to private demand. That still remains one of the risks of the outlook. With uh, some of the stimulus programs, some of that um, you know, financial aid, you could call it, do you think it's early or too early to withdraw stimulus in the U.S.? In general, in, in, just in the U.S., but in general, it is uh, our, our, we continue to think that the promised stimulus is still important to be delivered. In other Through words, what's already on the books should be delivered this year. Okay. Some places are moving faster. They can think sooner about starting to transition out of the stimulative stance. But in general, it's too early to do it, mm -hmm. not too early to think about it. Now, when it comes to the U.S. dollar, we had George Soros on the show earlier, and he had said that he really sees no alternative to the U.S. dollar right now. Yet we're hearing some central banks make news, make noise, rather, I should say, about possibly diversifying away from it. Well, so far, and I think uh, Mr. Soros and others, we've said that as, mm -hmm. as, as well, uh, the, there is not a practical uh, alternative for the dollar right at this moment. Uh, but in fact, in general, rule of thumb for, for currency use, for reserve currency purposes, is in line with the denomination, currency denomination of trade and of debt. And in that regard, the dollar's really not that far out of line. It's about 65% of total reserves. And uh, there's every reason to think over time this could change, but for the time being, it seems uh, about solid. Uh, when you look at what some are calling a sovereign debt crisis, but what you could at a minimum call real concern about the level of debt um, for countries uh, around the world, the Greece's, the Spain's, the Portugal's, I mean, do you think that perhaps Greece would be able to resolve its issues, make those painful budget cuts without IMF uh, involvement? Well, the Greek authorities have promulgated a, a stabilization program that contains some very ambitious but appropriate fiscal targets, and we uh, certainly uh, hope that they will be able to deliver on that, stand ready to collaborate uh, in any way we enough? can. Uh, they, the uh, goals appear to be ambitious and appropriate. Now, let's take a, a broader look. Mm -hmm. Certainly, the anti-crisis measures undertaken by economies around the world has resulted in a substantial mm -hmm. increase in public debt that's going to in, going to continue in the next few years. So, the problem of public debt is not a short-term problem. Mm -hmm. It's one that's going to be with us for a long time. It's going to require sustained discipline to sustain the economic growth. Thank you so much, John Lipsky of the IMF.